Hello. Uh, today we're going to be doing some train chug challenge practice. Um, over on Reddit here, we have somebody put together a challenge. Um, and it's it's basically just centered around train chugging and doing some improvisation with that. So I'm a beginner, and I figured I would record myself practicing with the notes that I put together after watching all the videos, and uh, just have some fun. So here are the notes I put together. Um, and I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to mute the music. And we'll actually pause the video. That's good. All right. So one of the first videos that I watched was Jason's here. I try to pronounce his last name, so I won't do that. Um, but the keynotes from his videos are that he likes lower keys are better. Um, and he says to do chords, uh, one through three and one through four. So that's all while inhaling or exhaling. So that'd be one, two, and three. And then one, two, three, and four. And then he says, Tika on inhale and Taka on exhale. So I'm just trying to make sure that I um, alternate between those chords while doing that. It says try other syllables, tongue slap against the teeth with the top of the mouth, and he's, he's talking about the tick and the taka. Um, a lot of the times when you're playing and you're trying to um, make some more exciting noise, you're going to do a lot of, um, I guess, phonetics, like he says syllables. So the, the ticka, the thing that, the part of the word that makes you put your tongue up against the roof of the mouth, it will help you get a better sound. So that one, I'm doing the tongue slap. And then this one, I'm just doing two inhales. He says to throw in riffs, train noises, and be messy. I don't know a whole lot of riffs by heart right now. Um, train noises are just three and four or four and five draw and then he says to use tongue block um, octaves um, so I think he's just talking about the slaps I'm not very good at octaves, but we'll try it out. And I'm just aiming my tongue in the middle of the two and three here. The tip of my tongue to cover up those two holes. Um, 
And then there's Adam Gesso's videos. He talks a little bit about the history. Uh, Ford Bailey, master of train songs. Um, I think he was the first star of the Grand Ole Opry opera. I don't know how you say that. Um, good videos. Check out there. He says to use Nucka on the inhale and Tucka on the exhale to whisper it. Um, that's kind of just general advice. You don't need to really blow real hard or inhale real hard when you're playing a harmonica. He uses a A harmonica. Uh, he also suggests practicing without the harp. Uh, so practicing the nukka on the inhale. And I, I believe he says in his video that the faster you can do it without the harmonica, the faster you can do it with the harmonica. So practicing without, um, when you have a free moment, you can practice even if you don't have your heart. Uh, he mentions using staccato, um, and that's again just the, it's making a, like a sharp, I'm not going to try to explain what that word is, um, Google it, but it's just, it's the, it's the same thing that Jason was talking about with the ticka and the taka. So he, um, Adam suggests using a chuck chuck on the inhale. I need to fix that. Um, it says tongue on mouth slap, na or ta or ka. Really anything that gets your tongue to make that kind of motion will help. So that's the chuck chuck. And he says loose lips on exhale for good chords, and that's general advice uh, when you're exhaling. You wanna you're, you wanna have loose lips, so. You might not be able to tell there, but let's affect it a little bit. Um, so start medium slow. And this is practice advice. Start medium slow so you can handle it. Increase until you fail. And then uh, continue to practice at the speed just below that. Um, and then he talks about the train whistle and the, the kind of the word he uses when he does the 3 4 uh, bend up is, or to create the bend up, is woo wee. So if we do that. actually works really well. Um, he mentions using a tight embouchure so that instead of having a wide, you want to have a tight mouth and that affects the sound. Not as noticeable on the draw there, but um, he says tight embouchure when going fast and loose when during slow. That kind of just makes sense to mimic the sounds of a train. And then he says to shift focus or alternate most of your air during nakatuka. And then we didn't practice nakatuka yet here. So you can see here I have bolded the ones and the twos. So basically it's just you want to force a little more air through certain holes. So let's start with the, the Nukka Tukka. See how that's different from Tikka Taka. Here's Tikka Taka. And then Nukka Tukka. So not any difference. I, I don't really. Maybe there is a difference, but I can't catch it. 
playing it. Um, but it's basically the same thing. For all these notes, everybody has sort of different things that they'll, they'll use. Um, so now to practice the shift focus. He explains it as a loose wobble or warble, or maybe I explained it that way. So yeah, you can see here, I'm focusing more on the one. And this one is more everything. And then this, I'm focused on two. Which doesn't sound very good because it's on the exhale, I think he's using it. All right, and then we have J.P. Allen's video. Now this was a short one, um, and he uses tucka on inhale and toodle on exhale. <laughs> um, and the toodle, when I was going over this, uh, I realized that like these words are really just like a, a, a way to guide you to the mouth shapes and the mouth movements you have to do. And um, you really want to get the get the shape of it down and the, the movement of it down, and then forget about saying the words. So, so JP's um, chug he uses toodle, and it's a little more uh, the the d the d is less sharp. Um, but that's kind of what happens when you speed up the train sound, right? You uh, it's less of a you're going faster um, so it's hard to get those that sharp staccato I guess you'd call it um, so anyway he uses one two draw and one two blow and he uses a C harmonica which we're using right now Wild. Uh, his video was one of my favorites uh, on this subject because he gives you a a pattern to follow. Um, <coughs> excuse me. He gives you a pattern to follow. Um, it gets to actually practice the things that you you need for the chug. So he suggests his, he has two patterns. His first pattern is to alternate um, two draw and then chords uh, one two three draw, one two three draw, and then two exhale one through th one through three uh, draw one through three draw. So that is something like that and he says use ka on the one two threes uh, the chords sounds like chuck chuck two so I was doing that a little wrong. Not wrong, but different. Oh no, start with the draw. And 
This is good for switching between chords and single notes. Uh, his second pattern is we go from three draw to two draw real fast, and then we do uh, one three chord, uh, and that's exhaling, and we do a one draw. So that's kind of this. suggests um, stringing patterns together so um, let me try that I'm not the greatest at it but So I've been using a C harmonica for all of these, even the one uh, here where Adam uses an A. You can you can do any harmonica. Uh, we'll suggest anything C or below. Um, and then we have uh, Hakan. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I think that's pretty close. Uh, he uses the key of G. He likes the darker sound. I think I'm gonna pull out my. A G for this one, just so we can have a difference. So he likes the darker sound. He likes the the lower <coughs> harmonicas for this. He uses ta da on inhale and da da on exhale, and he uses the one through three chord uh, inhale and exhaling. <laughs> Um, and I'm doing that wrong in my notation here. It's actually, so the, the this one is the ta, and then you do da, and then da da exhale. Um, his train whistle again three and four. He does wow wow, uh, and he changes it up to four and five. Um, Oh, he does three, four, exhale, and then four and five, inhale. And then changes it to... This sounds weird because I haven't been doing it on this. I'm not quite sure if I'm getting it. I'm right. All right, let's continue. Uh, he uh, says to start slow. Turn down my heater here. Start slow, speed it up like a train speeding up. Um, alternate tight and loose embouchure again. I need to practice that. Uh, use dynamics, quiet to loud. You can use your hands to like mute it at the beginning and then open it up as you're going or open it up randomly. Um, mimic slow train. Use quarter notes, triplets, then half notes. So here, 
he's doing, what he's saying is to do ta da ta da, and then da 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 da. Um, and that's that's like the train for starting. So. <laughs> And then he suggests doing triplets, which would be ta da da. Um, he doesn't explain what he says, but it's basically three, three of those, and then da 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 on the exhale. So we do that. And then he goes to his normal one, which is just ta da da da. And then if you're going very fast, you can just do uh, ta on the inhale and da on the exhale. So. And then uh, let's do that all together. Kind of sound like a try to sound like a train speeding up here. So we have so we'll start muted. Wasn't too bad. Um, alternate uh, with a one or t uh, one or one two inhale. So let's look at the notation here. So he does. Then he has a train starting pattern, which you can alternate with the above. That's again just him speeding it up. And then he has a train whistle pattern. Um, That's a little better sounding than I was doing before. So he does three and four inhale, four and five exhale. So it's three and four inhale, four and five exhale, four and five inhale, four and five exhale. Um, and then we have Ozan, uh, probably not pronouncing that right, but he put together the, the whole challenge. He recommends the key of A, not too high or not too low. Um, and he says to use chuck chuck and improv on single notes. So we're gonna switch to, we're actually gonna switch to, 
or B flat harp. Um, so it's a little, I think it's a little higher than A. Or a little lower. Wait, no, it's a little higher than A, a little lower than C, I believe. Um, so yeah, chuck chuck and improv single notes. he suggests you can use the growl or a roll tongue for the exhale. Uh, I found that's useful when you speed up. And that's kind of like uh, <laughs> using the nakataka or the ta-da-da-da, anything like that. But you're doing three, you're doing two tongue slaps and then three tongue slaps really fast. Um, so two inhale, three tongue slaps fast out exhale so I found that's useful when you speed up because naturally when you speed up you're not you can't get that that tongue slap as hard because you're doing it real fast so can't really do the growl um but the roll the tongue roll it's not really i can't really do a tongue roll either but it's just slapping my tongue against the roof of my mouth three times really fast it's almost letting the air um with me exhaling kind of i don't know it just feels real natural when you're doing it like this fast. Um, that's kind of like how you just end up doing it. Um, he also mentions the silent, he calls it the silent train technique. Um, I looked into it more. It's, it's basically just mimicking uh, air brakes. When they um, when they release to start going, or they, uh, I think it still makes the noise when they when they stop too. So that's just a large uh, fast exhale, and you can also use it on exhales for your chug. So to do that, I suggest not blowing directly into the harmonica, at least until you our confidence that you're not going to blow too hard. Um, I don't like to use the word blow because you're not really blowing so much as you're exhaling um, softly. So... <laughs> it's basically just... or... or... I don't know how to explain it. Let's see here. Make sure we... I will use... Uh, let's just play a video here. I know they have it in this video, so that would be better. I'm not very good at it. Um, at least not very good on the spot. So actually Yeah. Okay. Right here. Mobile line. So did we did I mute? Hold on one second. Just need to check to see if I muted. So I did not. Alright, so we should be able to hear this if I play it. 
So I believe it's around right here. So we'll go right about 40 seconds in. And they're starting to speed up. There we go. song by the way um so yeah that's basically that let's switch back over to the notes here um <coughs> excuse me so he says you can also use that on exhale for your chug so Which is great because if you're full, um, it could almost sound like um, like the the steam coming out. I'm not quite familiar with train sounds, but you could almost mimic that too. But if you need to exhale, you know that's a good good way to do it. And one thing I found for exhaling too is with that growl there. So I don't know if you heard that, but there I'm just doing like a ta da 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 or whatever, whatever you want to pick. Um, and then that I'm really, it's almost like a what you do if you would spit but without the spit. So. And I'm just doing that with my exhale, um, aiming the the blunt of the air above the harmonica it allows you to give it a nice exhale out that way too. Um, and then he has his octave pattern, so let's do that. Um, so that's just, I got to find the, my spot here. That's basically all the notes I would suggest um you know go through and watch the videos yourself. I'm not gonna do that because we don't have all the time in the world. And then I need to actually pull up my notes here. Just can't see that. Uh let me open them up because I added some stuff on practicing. So, let's see here. Let me export this as a PDF. And we'll just do this. We'll replace it. Close that. And then if I give this a refresh here. Oh, it's because it's the wrong spot. Okay, let's open up the actual one. Let me find it again. File. Reveal and file explorer. Let's do that. So we're here, and then train chug PDF. Okay. Oh, no, I want to select all of this. Thank you. Minimize that. And then, uh, 
this here, and now we have our practice routine stuff down here. So following the suggestion of some of the teachers that I've been watching their YouTube videos on, uh, Tomlin, etc. Um, when you practice, you want to practice a few things. You don't want to just mindlessly go at something. Um, so to practice this chugging, uh, I need to practice, I specifically need to practice the patterns. I need to practice triplets. We didn't go over that. Um, Jason's videos, I think, go over that. Um, and maybe Will's, I can't remember, but triplets. Triplets are, well, we did some triplets here um, with Hakan's video. And triplets, but there's different ways you can do triplets. So that's that's like a chord triplet. And then, but you can also do, and I think these are what, arpeggios? I don't know how you say that word, but instead of, because you can't always form a chord on harmonica, well, another way to kind of form a chord is to do three single notes rapidly. Uh, the three from that chord, or just, you know, some of them that include the notes from that chord. Um, I'm no expert, but I'm just repeating the things that I've heard and my basic understanding. So, uh, so that would be like... Now, obviously, I need a lot of practice on doing all the sorts of different motions there for triplets. <laughs> I need to practice my chug speed, and so that's practicing getting up really fast until I fail, and then I'm practicing this back a little bit. Practicing my practicing just below that, kind of. You want to practice at a range that you're comfortable with, so you can do other things like throwing in riffs and stuff. Um, you don't want to just try to go as fast as you can all the time. You do want to push the limits, um, but once you push them, you kind of give yourself some time to practice at a a, a the speed you're comfortable at and then by pushing it hopefully you can increase the speed and what you're comfortable with um next we want to practice repertoire so that's listening to train songs playing along and mimicking <laughs> so we will be doing that as well uh, and then there's improvisation which is improvising a train chug with or without a backing track so I think I'm going to go through and I'm going to pack, practice some of these patterns um, first. So we're going to go right back up here. Ah, the triplets. This is, uh, this is where I missed it. Um, so his triplets are... That's two draw, two blow, one draw. And then we have three blow, or three draw, three blow, two draw. And then we have uh, four draw, four blow, and three draw.
so patterns here there's no patterns there are triplets so let's continue practicing that <laughs> So we have three exhale, three inhale, two exhale. Another thing that I thought was cool was practicing transitioning the triplets. Um, so if we look at them, each of the these here has a note of the previous. So what we can do is we can start this pattern. I'm going to do it real slow because I am not able to do this because it's just something I made up uh, while I'm practicing. So. So you can see that two draw that we start off with here. Um, the, we have a two draw here. So my idea was you repeat this pattern, and then eventually when you hit this note, instead of doing this, you move up. So it would be... kind of difficult. Let's try it. Let's try again. So two drop. Two blow. One inhale. Uh, and then we have our two inhale. We're back at our two inhale. And then now we're back at our two inhale again. This time we're going to start. We're going to move into transitioning to doing the second I want to just select this thank you. Um the second line. So <coughs> bad smokers call. Um so yeah, once you once you decide to, when you're on that two draw for the first triplet, you slide over and continue drawing um, to get the three on the second set of triplet here. And then you do the free blow and then back to the two draw again. And then you can continue that pattern. Then you can do the same thing going up to four. So let's do that again slow, slowly. even go down. So let's start with the four.
going down is a little tricky because when you slide down, you got to go uh, right back. No, you don't. That's a, uh, that's difficult, but I imagine if you can, man, if you could do this, you'd be pretty good at using the triplets and transitioning. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> it's a little weird because you gotta switch up the pattern while you transition. So we can practice our octaves, since I'm not very good at that. So we're gonna aim we're gonna aim the tip of our tongue between uh, basically the black spacing between uh, the two and three draw. So there. And then we're gonna put our tongue on it, and then we're gonna try to make sure our mouse big enough so we're covering holes one through four. So there I'm practicing going from the octave to not. And I'm just picking up the tip of my tongue. stuff. We are practicing specifically patterns and stuff like that. So let's go down through here. It's not really a pattern, that's just a technique, I would call it. Um, start medium slow so you can handle it, increase until failure, continue to practice just below that. That's not really a pattern either. Um, more the speeds we'll do that later i don't feel like i need to practice train whistle train whistle is pretty easy um the shift focus that we could practice so we have
really for this you're you're just putting your mouth over the one two and three holes and when you're when you're wobbling back and forth you're keeping them over the one two and three holes you are just moving where the center of your mouth is so i'm gonna i'm gonna get my lip the side of my lip right next to this through hoop this three here and if i feel with the if i put my tongue out and feel with the middle of my mouth you're, you're you can feel that you're poking at the one hole um so here really the focus is on the one hole Because your airstream is typically going to be like a straight line through your mouth to the back of your throat there. I mean, it's the same with whistle. You can feel your airstream. It's in the middle of your mouth. When you make a hole, it's the middle of your mouth. Um, so that's, that's kind of what that's talking about. So when we move over... I don't... I basically want the side of my mouth, I don't know if this is good practice, but I'm, I'm allowing the side of my mouth to drag instead of letting the harmonica itself uh, slide. That way it stays on um, one, two, three, but the center of my mouth is now over the two. And it kind of just gives uh gives it a different sound. Um, so I think that's off of that. There's no real patterns with J.P. Allen stuff. Um, the patterns uh, here are good to practice though, so we'll do that again. So we're going to alternate. messed up because I started trying to think about it instead of just being within the kind of groove that I was putting together there. Um, then we have the second pattern. And this we really want to make sure that our mouths are wet. Especially if the sides here because this is where this it slides. So you want to lick the side of your lips, make sure you're drinking water while you're playing. Sure you keep hydrated. We'll even leave a bit of that water on my mustache there so it can aid me. Um, <clears throat> so this next pattern is Let's try uh, practicing alternating them again, or stringing them together. So. Thank you. 
like to come in. So instead of you repeating the. You're repeating that. The uh, one, three, exhale. And the one, inhale. So I like to, when I'm switching back over to the first pattern, you do the. And then instead of doing a one inhale, you do the, the two inhale from pattern one. So. And then you go back to the chuck chuck uh, inhale. And then when I'm switching from that to pattern two, I want to do it right after a chuck chuck. Oh. Let's, let's practice that some more. Switch. We're going to switch back. Let's switch back again. move on uh, let's practice the mimicking of the slow train using the quarter notes and splitting it up to triplets and then half notes so that's again ta da ta da 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 ta da ta da on the inhale da da on the exhale <laughs> Now you can you can speed it up by just speeding up your inhales and exhales. So what you want to kind of do is you want to start with with this top one here, and then you slowly speed it up, and then as you're speeding that up, you add this, and then you slowly speed this up, and then as you speed that up, you add this, and you keep going until you get to the very fast. So let's do that. Switch. Another switch. Another switch. Well, 
uh, that that end part's really bad. I'm I'm new, so sorry. Um, but let's try let's try from very fast and slow it down. Let's do the reverse. <laughs> So we're going to do that, and then we need to, to transition to... And we want to start faster with our breaths, and then slow those down. And as we slow down, we switch to the next one up. Again, we slow down. And we switch to the final. And throw in the air air lock noise for Good, good measure. Um, let's see here. Alternate with one or two inhale. So we're doing. Just instead of just the one, you can do one and two. And then we have the train starting pattern, which is just alternating. Uh, not quite sure what that meant reading it now but okay so so let's do we're going to do this line here and then Oops, we're going to do this whole line, and then we're going to transition to this whole line, and then we're going to transition to this line. Oops. Then we got the train whistle pattern. <laughs> I need to slow down whenever I get a little confused or I'm messing things up and really just I want to slow it down. You should probably slow it down as well.
sorry. Uh, just got into it there. All right. Um, so that, uh, let's see here. We still have, that's the train whistle pattern. Um, any patterns here? Just the... Let's throw in other notes. So next, active pattern. Um, excuse me. So we have. So this is hard. <coughs> Harder. Get some water here. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Get them lips nice and wet. Um, let's see here. So, after pattern. So this one, you are doing the chords one through three, um, or just inhaling, exhaling one through three, like we've been doing. Standard chug. And then we're going to widen our mouth a little bit to let in the one uh, uh, one through four. So all the holes, one through four. And then we're going to use the tip of our tongue to block the spot right there. You're going to aim for the middle, the literal middle, with the tip of your tongue of the two and three. So we have to Could even if we wanted to extend on that, we could do and then we could widen up and do the full uh without the octave, we could do um so we just widen it up to add that four, and then the next time around we do the octave. So give yourself some time. So we'll do So I believe that's that's all the practice I need right now for uh, the patterns and triplets. Right now I want to move on to practicing my chugging speed. So here we're just going to chug. Um, I'm not going to worry about throwing in extra notes or anything. It's going to be the straight rhythm. Um, I might I might throw in stuff because uh, that's really you want to. You want to practice both. Practice chugging alone, and then practice chugging while throwing in stuff, just to just to kind of be messy, and then throw things in there and make it interesting. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and with this, <laughs> I like to practice it with uh, with this here. 
just because it's again it's practicing speeding it up And if you feel yourself, I'm personally, I'm filling up on air. And so that's, that's where uh, I mentioned earlier, uh, if you can really open up the top of your lips over the harmonica. And when you're doing the exhale, really like try to blow the air out. So we'll, we'll try this again and I'll, I'll try to remember to do that. Really, you want to establish being able to do the chug at whatever speed continuously without running out of breath. So you really got to focus on having those loose lips and throwing in exhales, exhaling more air um, than you're taking in. See, I'm messing up. It means we're getting to my point of failure. So I just want to bring it back a little bit. Messing up some more. I think that's because I had a little burp. Getting all this air into me. All right, let's keep it going there. Let's do one more time. We're going to do one more time practicing the chug speed, but as I've been speeding things up as we've been going, and my mouth's already getting sore, practicing chug speed is going to be uh, a little harder because um, I am pushing myself. Um, again, you know, my mouth's shit, my mouth, my jaw. Feels like I've been chewing bubble gum. <laughs> So let's, let's, again, we're going to start off very slow. This will be our last uh, speed up practice. And we're going to start with ta da, ta da, ta ta, four times, well, two times, and then da da, two times, exhale. And then we're going to move to the, the triplet. And then we're going to move to the quarter notes, which is just ta ta da da. And then we're going to move to. I don't know what those would be. Eighth notes. Yeah, eighth notes, I think. Correct. Loop up the harp, loop up your mouth, 
your lips. Let's start even slower. In fact, let's throw in the let's throw in the air brakes releasing first. Sorry, I had to play something other than a train choke. <coughs> oh, man. All right. So the next thing is we are going to practice repertoire. I'm going to take a short break, though. Um, and then we will get to that. I need to check out the Discord. If you haven't, by the way, let's go ahead and just grab up the link. If you haven't... Um, And I'm sure you haven't, uh, unless you are one of the members already in the Discord. Um, find my way here. But you can join us on Discord here. Uh, it's the Harmonica Community Discord uh, that I've put together. Uh, we have about 40 to 50 members right now. Um, a couple mods, not including myself. Um, so yeah, if you, if you're new or if you're an expert, you know, it's, it's a friendly community We're we're open to, to anybody come ask any questions you might have, even the ones that others might not like you to ask, just feel free. Um, we're open, friendly, um, we have strict rules, so there's no being, uh, mean to people or criticizing people for their level of knowledge. Um, cause I see that a lot. Uh, anyway, I'm going to take my break. I'm going to go ahead and put this music back on. Um, I need to turn my own music back on. I can't hear anything. I think I need to restart it. This headsets, if there's no volume, I turn off. Here it comes. Or not? Did I mute it?
All right. We are back. Um. Um, all right, so our next practice thing here, we need to listen to some, uh, we need to do some repertoire, so we're going to listen to some train songs and play along and mimic. Um, I didn't get any train songs here, so that's actually... Let's listen to this. <laughs> Really? It's not about even being close to I mean you wanna you wanna try to match up the sounds as close as you can. I'm using a B flat harmonica. Uh, right now, so if you have a C, I'm not sure what he's using in this video, but you know, just try to match it up, play along on top of it, try to mimic the techniques, <laughs> stuff like that. find tabs for the song. A lot of it's part of just Let's check out D Ford Bailey's. This is Union Station in Nashville, Tennessee. Now this is towards the end here. Named D Ford Bailey. D Ford played the Pan American Blues, named after one of the great Get trains that kind of the of day. One that travels on bad. these very tracks. Man, you don't hear this noise. It's that. <laughs> Is that from VCR recordings? Or is it? No, no, it's just the static from the old TVs, isn't it? I don't know.
I wonder what he's doing in his mouth there. So let's look for some other train uh, chug songs. So we'll just do. Train chug song. Um, box chase songs are similar. So we can. We can listen to this. It's real. It's not the same, but it's rhythm. That sounds like a train almost. Um. This is Joe Felisco playing uh, B Ford Bailey's. That's nice. The bend is with the chords there. I hear it's do bends with tongue blocking and multiple chords I think it's more in your throat so yeah when you when you try to bend you would on a single note fluttering your tongue <laughs> not quite like that um, when you're doing it with more chords it's more just like a like not even a bend But if I try to bend with the back more, like, back further. And you can even hear, I'll try it back further on the single note. I digress. Let's uh, continue looking for some train chug songs.
what else do we have? I don't know a lot of, I had a list of songs, but I forgot to write them down. Brainheart. <laughs> I guess we can. Cute pics get pets adopted. It's uh, true, but. Yeah. Hey, everybody. And uh, here I am with another YouTube. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to talk about after doing like seven yesterday, but I thought I came up with something because Ronnie Shellist asked me. It's very easy to. Okay. And uh, some of the lower keys are better for this train stuff and this uh, foxtrot stuff. And you grab a. So that's one of the videos. Let's watch Ronnie here. Kroner Special 20, key of D flat. Well, this I think has some train shock elements to it, if I remember. It's a good one, we'll have to watch that. this There we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, I think that's. I'm sure there are plenty of other harmonica, blues, chug themed songs that I'm missing. Um, it's okay. You don't have to listen to all of them, and I'm not going to tab them by ear or anything during this practice. That would have been a great, uh, great thing to do, though, to tab like one of these really old songs. Um, and so the final practice is improvisation. Improvise the train chug with or without a backing track, which I think is the final thing I'm going to do. Um, so, let's see here. We are in a B flat, so... Remember what this is. B flat, second position is an F. So backing track, an F. Take this and bring it back over here to YouTube. Let's look for something train. Blues and F. F blues and jazz swing feel. Blues and F. It's bass and drums. Mm hmm. Nope, nope, nope. So we're gonna get rid of the train and we're just gonna look for a regular backing track and F. This is 10 minutes long. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this a bit of a listen. It's not going to be coherent. Uh, there will probably be a lot of things that don't sound very good, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to play along and uh, try to try to hit notes that I think will work. And if they don't, I'm just going to move on to a different note or um, give myself some space. Um, and that's okay. You know, you can. This is a 10-minute track. Sit here with your eyes closed and you know only play very little bit of it, but that's okay because it's still, it's still practicing. And I'm 
not getting worried about the cords and stuff. Uh, sometimes you might try to match them and stuff. I'm going to try to match them by playing by ear. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm not worried about the key. I'm still using my B flat because I like it. Alright, so I think we've listened to enough of it, so I'm going to start it over. Make sure I can hear my harmonica.
All right. Um, that wasn't quite a train chug, uh, but it was improvising. Uh, and any of that will help. So that's, that's decent. Um, I do want to improvise a train chug, though, so I think that we will close out the stream uh, with the train chug. Uh, improvised. It's probably going to be really bad, <clears throat> but that's okay. start over. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Um, I did it. It was horrible. I didn't freak out. I mean, I did. I was freaking out the whole time in my head. Um, but I just played where I could. And when I messed up, if I felt I needed to, if I couldn't recover, I just stopped, started over. And I need a lot of rhythm work. I know that. Um, it's just going to take some time. Anyway, I am out. It is 3.44. We were only supposed to go to 3, but I was late. Um, so, yeah, let's get some some tunes going here. Not this one. Of course, I can't hear anything. Alrighty. Uh, man, that was that was good practice. Uh, what am I looking for? OBS. I need to... I'm leaving.
Hello. Okay. Well, I was talking this whole time, but I didn't realize the scene didn't have a mic. Anyways, those links that I just posted, check out the Discord. Um, I'm building harmonica.dev. It's going to be a suite of tools for um, practicing. Um, and I'm also building harmonic reviews, um, which will be a website for reviewing harmonicas, and it will help aid you finding your harmonica. Um, again, the Discord is open to everybody. If you're a beginner, if you're advanced, um, come in. I'm there. You can come ask questions. Um, I appreciate anybody that watched, and uh, I'll see you guys a little later. Peace.